We begin in Ecuador, where the youngest president-elect in the country's history was sworn in as president on Thursday. The 35-year-old Daniel Noboa, a millionaire heir to a banana trade empire and an unexperienced politician, is set to serve only 18 months in his role, the remaining term of his predecessor, Guillermo Lasso. In his inauguration speech, Noboa vowed to tackle the country's ongoing issue of violence and boost the economy by creating jobs. Once regarded as one of the safest countries in South America, Ecuador in recent years has seen an extreme surge of violence driven by rival drug trafficking groups. According to local authorities, drug-related violence has been behind some 3,600 murders so far this year. Following the August murder of anti-corruption advocate, presidential candidate Fernando Villavicencio, there were calls in the country for immediate action. An early election was held in October as Ecuador's previous president dissolved the country's legislature to dodge an impeachment vote back in May.